We have this at least 550 homes evacuated Friday night in Clackamas County when the Milo McIver fire started. It's now under control, but one home didn't make it. And those evacuations lifted yesterday. Our Liz Birch, she spent today in Clackamas County as so many people returned to see the damage the fires left behind. We spoke to the woman who lives here. She was evacuated Friday night, and sadly, when she returned, she returned home to this. Really just a pile of rubble where her home once stood. I don't wish this on anybody because it's pretty heartbreaking. Friday night, Debbie Ingemel says sheriff's deputies were running between houses, telling them to evacuate as fast-moving flames from the Milo McIver fire approached. She was one of 550 homes whose doors they knocked on that night. When she returned, she found her 102-year-old farmhouse had burned to the ground, along with everything inside. Pretty much every memento from my mother is gone, which is the hardest. Um, and your mama just passed. She just passed in December. And um, so those things are really touching my heart right now. She was able to save one portrait she'd painted in the moments before she fled. I kept one that she did of me when I was a little girl, and I have that. But it was like whatever I could grab off the walls. Her chickens also died in the fire. They were so little pets. They were, you know, they were egg layers, but they were my pets. Fortunately, she, along with her cat and dog, made it out okay. Nearby, another family is also surveying the damage to their property. The Dobsons also evacuated Friday night. When we were hooking up the trailer, though, I saw like some quarter size embers flying over our trailer towards our front pasture. And we just said, you know, we don't know if there's going to be anything left when we come back. But they say thanks to the help of volunteers who rushed to help, their home was spared. They were able to come through our um, gate and pasture and they got out there with hoses and our well was being used and they did an awesome job. They were able to save our barn and therefore our homes. So we're so grateful to the local community members who contributed to that effort. They spent all night back there doing, doing saving our homes. Inga Mills is also grateful to her community, who she says have been stepping in to help her now. People have been ultra generous of their time and their caring and their calling and their checking in on me. And um, I, that's what I really like about a small town and small community. And the big question on everyone's minds out here, the big question they keep asking us, how did this fire start? We did ask ODF if they know the cause at this point. They tell us they're investigating, but don't have a cause determined. In Clackamas County, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.